Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and welcome back to a new video of ILU tutorials and this video uh, we are gonna discuss how we can make something like this so you know this is a picture of a uh, building or a picture of a room which is uh, taken on a camera and this uh, design is applied to a wall so we have a similar uh, set of pictures here so you know we have this wall and uh, we have this wall and uh, for uh, this uh, video demonstration i have uh, selected this picture so i have this uh, beautiful picture wall or a beautiful uh, media wall you could say so i want to uh, paste this wall on these two this is actually this design on these two walls this wall and this wall so how i can do this in adobe illustrator so it is very simple first we need to prepare our picture so you see in this picture we have uh, these uh, background items which we need to delete but we don't have to delete all the elements from it uh, let's just uh, make a uh, shape over uh, it like uh, i'm gonna draw a rectangle over this design and just uh, uh, selecting uh, the stuff which are uh, necessary here so perhaps we are taking just this much uh, of the design i think this much would be good just uh, wanna show you how this thing works okay so this is uh, the portion which we are gonna use so I would uh, make a copy of it here and then uh, let's uh, make a clipping mask of this image over this shape so you have to select both of these then right click and here you can say uh, select make clipping mask once I clip this so the design is separated from this picture and you could also crop this picture uh, to this size so now have this picture and I want it to paste on this wall so I would uh, make a shape of the wall so how I could do that I could do that uh, using pen tool so, uh, select the pen tool and then select uh, the portion of the uh, wall uh, where I want to paste uh, this design so I would like to take the wall above this uh, skirting so I would select it from this corner you can just uh, go with the shape of the wall you don't have to uh, make it accurate or uh, kind of stuff you just have to follow the wall so uh, it could uh, look like it is really applied on that wall so i would take uh, this much portion of the wall i think that would be appropriate and then i would just finish my shape so this is uh, the shape which i have created so you could see this is just pasted on this wall if i just uh, give it another color just to differentiate and reduce its opacity so you could see this is just uh, placed on that wall there, there is nothing uh, extra in it so i would uh, make its opacity back to 100 sorry now what i am going to do i have to select both the objects and the picture so this is uh, object or the shape is selected then the picture which i want to put here is selected then you have to go to the object under the object you have to uh, come to the envelope distort and here just uh, select the option which is make with top object you could also select from your keyboard uh, press from your keyboard alt Control c once i click on this it would uh, do the processing and you see it is it has applied this picture to this uh, much of the image but you see that uh, we have actually cropped this picture so it has applied to that much portion of the picture you can also increase its size from here or uh, alternatively what we can do i would uh, um, redo this shape uh, undo uh, actually and just uh, uh, release the clipping mask from here i would release the clipping mask now i would give it some another sh uh, shape and let's uh, crop our picture to this size so let's click on the crop and just uh, bring your boundaries uh, to this shape so this was the uh, step which I uh, mentioned earlier that you could also uh, crop this picture. So now I'm gonna crop it. Once it is cropped, let's do the final H2. Then uh, click on apply, and then you can just remove this shape because it is not needed. And let's bring this to top. So arrange, bring this to front, and now select both of them. And now you have to uh, right click, then make clipping. Sorry. Uh, select both of these go to object and we'll have distort and here make with top object once you make on top object you could see that the design is applied to this wall 
so you now see that how does it look so if uh, uh, you are satisfied with this design and this design look good with your wall so you could uh, actually consider it so the same was applied here if i for instance uh, i would just embed this picture lock it and if i want to apply this same design to this wall so what i'm gonna do let's uh, go back and just uh, create a shape here so let's uh, let me create a shape over this uh, object again and show you how uh, we can apply the same design to this wall so i would just select where uh, i want to place my design so the shape is created now i just have to select these two and then go to object envelope distort and make with top object once this is on the top object you will see that our design is applied to this wall so how beautiful uh, it looks and uh, you could uh, use this tool for uh, a uh, quick visualization that you want to see that your design would work for you or not so you just have to uh, take the design uh, take your picture make a shape over uh, the wall where you want to place the design and then select both and just go to object and we have distort and that's it it would be applied to that wall let's apply uh, the same design to this wall too let me make some copies of this uh, picture so i could uh, apply these uh, this to everyone so i would just make it to this one too make a top object oh sorry you have to bring these two to the top and then select these two object and let the start now this one object and let the start make a top object and now let's do it for this wall too so let me create the boundaries i'm creating the boundaries you see there is a uh, this um, door but let's ignore it for some time select these two object and we'll have distort and that's it so you see that we have applied this design to all the walls and now you could uh, actually compare that on which wall this design would look good so which wall uh, it uh, is representing good or it looks good on so you could consider that one it's all it was all for today and uh, i hope to see you in the next video thank you